Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a album review, and this is for the newest uh, Kill Switch Engage album, Atonement, which I officially found on Zippy Share today, and I just finished listening to it, so I'm going to discuss what I listened to and let you know what I thought of this record. So let's dive into this review. Now this is their 8th studio album, and so far it's really good. When I heard Into the Record, I was really amazed. When I was investing my time into this record, I just was amazed with this album. They are a metalcore band, and at first I thought they were like a heavy metal screamo band, but metalcore, yeah, they're definitely metalcore, um, I did enjoy, like, 9 out of 11 tracks on this record, that, that were very excellent, and the other two tracks, the first single, which was Unleashed, uh, I wasn't a big fan of that one. I didn't hate it, but it just felt all clustered with the melody and the flow of the song and got mashed up into trying lyric wise it just got mashed up and it didn't flow right along with as sure as the sun will rise that track just uh, it's another song that didn't flow right either. Um, the only reason why it didn't flow right is because the lyrics got mashed up together. And the breakdown music in the song just didn't work. That's my, my opinion. You may not agree with me on it. It's just how I felt when I was listening to the song. To both of those songs. And... Sure enough, I think most of these tracks are favorites. The 9 out of 11 tracks are favorites. Um, you got The Signal Fire, which f has a featured artist in it. And then Us Against the World, which was amazing. <laughs> the screams in it are great. Most of these songs did flow right. It's just... Those two tracks I mentioned just didn't. It just felt all clustered and not really particularly my kind of song that I'd get into. I just didn't feel for it. That's just all I'm going to say about it. Um, the final track, which has a good fading out uh, moment in the end of the song, which actually f works very well did amazing sorry I'm pretty tired doing this video I just woke up a few hours ago and my eyes are getting to me but yeah um I can't be the only one was actually really good it did feel a little mellow paced during most of the track but it, it worked very well. Um, I like Jesse's vocals and uh, the I Can't Be The Only One. It worked very well with the chorus. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, it did work very well with the chorus. Sorry if I'm repeating myself again. I just trying to think of what to say in this review and how to word it right but ravenous was a great screamo track and it worked very well with its melody its guitar work well the guitar work and drum work in this whole record is amazing it does very well 
and does a really good job to entertain the viewer listening to it. But, yeah, the only track she'll probably be disappointed with is uh, Unleashed and As Sure As The Sun Will Rise. If you, if you like the tracks, then that's fine. But I just couldn't like those tracks. It's kind of what brought the rating down of the record. And in my opinion, it just felt, it felt short mostly of being a really good song. They weren't bad tracks. They just didn't pique my interest to in being good. Um, Know Your Enemy was pretty badass. Um, I'd have to go back and listen to this record again, because I only heard it one time, and I know I shouldn't do this review if I heard it one time, but damn, I'm really loving this record. Uh, I just wanted to throw this out to you guys, just... Because I found the record and um, I was kind of excited to do this review uh, five days early, surprisingly. But yeah, um, Take Control was another good track too. Crownless King was good. The second single, I Am Broken 2, was pretty amazing. Although it was very short. Uh, it it felt like it could have gone on a little longer, which I hoped it would have, but it was only like 2 minutes and 39 seconds, or 2 minutes and 40 seconds in, so it's not really that long of a track, but I'm pretty amazed with this record, and uh, this is something worth buying and streaming a lot. But out of 10, I think I'd give this album a 9 out of 10. It's something to definitely that definitely has replay value. And it amazed me with these tracks and how well they did. So good job, guys. You did a really good job on this record. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the new Kill Switch Engage Atonement if you've heard it. And if you want to find this record, it's on m.vk. You have to search on Google uh, Kill Switch Engage Atonement Zip and find m.vk. And you press on that. And then uh, you look for the Kill Switch Engage record, which, if you want to download it, it's it'll direct you to Zippy Share, which that's how I found it. And then you download it from Zippy Share and you extract the songs and then you have the record. But uh sorry if I pause for a second. I am pretty tired. I don't really do videos on weekends now, but I just wanted to throw this out to you guys so you enjoy this review. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Um but yeah, tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you this week for the Star Set Manifest, Manifest track review. You can already tell I'm slurring my words, so I'm pretty exhausted. And whatever other reviews I gotta do, which I will do the Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark movie review probably tomorrow I thought I could find it today but I don't think I'm gonna find it today unfortunately but thank you for watching this review I hope you enjoyed it I'm sorry if I talked low in this video and just really exhausted because I got up a few hours ago then I just drank my coffee and uh, I'm just exhausted today. But, like I said, thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video.